had some questions about stomach acid and mineral absorption, if apple cider vinegar was the best thing to take if you want to improve mineral absorption. So I wanted to create a video just on this one topic. And um, yes, it can help you, but I need to explain a couple little points about this. So normally in your stomach, you have a very, very acidic acid called hydrochloric acid. The pH should be between one and three. Now think about it, neutral is seven. So every number uh, that goes below seven, you go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, is 10 times is acid. So if we compare six to seven, six would be 10 times more acid. Five would be 10 times more acid than six. So it compounds. So when you get down to these lower numbers, you have a very, very acidic acid. And this is normal. There's three main things that your stomach acid is supposed to do. Number one, it's supposed to help you break down protein, okay? So if you don't have the acid, you can't break down the protein. It starts to putrefy. You get undigested protein. Number two, it helps kill pathogens from invading the body. So if you eat food with some microbes, guess what? That stomach is there to kill off the pathogens. And if you can't kill them off, they can invade the body and you can create all sorts of um, infections in the colon. It's kind of part of the immune system. And number three, and this is the topic that we're discussing now, it helps mineral absorption. So having the right amount of acid in your stomach can make minerals more bioavailable. If you don't have enough stomach acid, then the absorption of calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, copper, cobalt, and other minerals won't be as efficient. You also won't have 100% absorption of folic acid, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin A. So basically, we need this strong acid or stomach to actually absorb these nutrients. As we age, we lose the strength of this acid and we start having deficiencies of these nutrients. So aging is a very common cause of not having enough strong acid in your stomach. Uh, other causes are anti-acids. If you're taking anti-acids or if you have hypothyroidism or if you have pernicious anemia, which is an autoimmune disease of uh, certain cells in your stomach, or if you have the infection H. pylori, that can do it. Or if you had gastric bypass, which is a surgery that can affect the pH of your stomach. Now there's two conditions. One is achlorhydria, which is zero stomach acid. You have no more stomach acid. And then another condition, hypochlorhydria, which is a deficiency of that strong acid in your stomach. Both of these conditions will affect the absorption of minerals. And this can also create a problem with SIBO which is a condition where your microbes are growing in the small intestine instead of the large intestine. And this can affect your absorption of nutrients because these microbes are eating your nutrients and starving you of the nutrients. Now the question is, can apple cider vinegar fix low stomach acid? And the answer is, it can help absorption of food and has a lot of other benefits, but it doesn't necessarily fix hydrochloric acid itself. It will help the absorption even in the small intestine of nutrients, and it actually can help to inhibit some of the microbes growing in the small intestine. So it has a lot of benefits, but to build up hydrochloric acid, there's several other nutrients that you're gonna need. Uh, number one, you're gonna have to find the cause of it. For example, if it's age, well, you can't do anything about that, right? But if you're taking any acids, you might wanna find the cause of that, get with your doctor, and see if you can actually reduce that because the more you're on this, it's gonna be very difficult to correct this. This hydrochloric acid uh, is made from chlorides, as in hydrochloric acid, and sodium, and potassium, and zinc, and iodine. So you wanna make sure that you have all of these in your diet. Another good remedy to help build this up would be something called betaine hydrochloride. Okay, so the chlorides, can actually help build up hydrochloric acid. But apple cider vinegar can help in digestion, but it's not the main thing to correct a low hydrochloric acid situation. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a summary on answering this question. And I've also put some really important videos on hydrochloric acid on this page. Thanks for watching.